All right, guys, today I'm going to be doing a double upload, which is kind of rare, but I came across this really interesting report that I think many of you will also be interested in. And as soon as I saw it, I knew I wanted to make a video talking about it and I had some extra time, so I figured why not? And this report talks about Xbox apparently being interested in acquiring the Warner Brothers gaming division, which we talked about a little bit before during a podcast where we heard that EA, Activision, and Take-Two were reportedly interested in acquiring this gaming division for about $4 billion. And we haven't really heard anything from it since, except now that apparently Microsoft is also interested. And I find the timing of this also very interesting. The fact that we're learning about this the same day that Microsoft announces their July 23rd uh, game showcase event. So this is what we're gonna be talking about in this video, if you could do me a favor, hit the like button to help it out. Hit the subscribe button as well so you don't miss any future content and hit the bell notification icon so you can be notified as soon as a video goes live. But we're gonna read about this report and then talk a little bit about it as well. So Microsoft is reportedly interested in acquiring the gaming division of Warner Brothers to bolster its Xbox brand. The report comes way of the information. That's actually the name of the website. And on the back of a report from last month claiming that AT&T was looking to offload WB games with Activision, EA, and Take-Two all expressing interest in striking a deal, the report doesn't divulge its sources, but notes its information derived from two individuals familiar with the situation. In the two part, if the two parties are able to strike a deal, this not only means Xbox would add studios like Rocksteady and NetherRealm to its first party family, but it would get gaming rights to series like Mortal Kombat, Harry Potter, Batman, Lego, Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, and obviously a lot more. However, it won't be a cheap acquisition. Further, Xbox wouldn't own any of the IP, but simply be licensing it from Warner Brothers, which represents less profit potential. The report echoes the aforementioned report from June, noting the deal could cost anywhere from two to four billion US dollars, this means that if the deal is reached between this price range, it could be Xbox's most expensive acquisition outdoing its acquisition of Minecraft, which would, I mean, yeah, that's pretty massive. Uh, you know, you're talking about a huge acquisition if it's bigger than Minecraft. Uh, I guess the question is, does it have the potential to be more profitable than Minecraft? I don't know about that one. According to the report, Warner Brothers parent company AT&T is interested in offloading WB Games to help reduce its $154 billion of debt. To find a suitor, the company has reportedly brought on investment bank LionTree to help find interested parties. That said, while multiple parties have expressed interest, a deal is still nowhere near being complete. So. Apparently all parties involved have declined to comment, but yeah, this is a really interesting report and it does sound like it's legitimate. And so, yeah, we need to talk about this because what would this mean? So first of all, it does emphasize that if this were to happen, it's nowhere near done or you know even close to being completed. But if one of these companies were to pursue it aggressively enough, you know, it's, it's possible that it could be done within the next couple of weeks potentially or we could hear something about it. Again, I find it very interesting that this report is coming so soon after the reveal of the date being July 23rd for the game showcase, maybe. And this is just purely speculation on my, my part. I really don't know how these deals work. I could be completely off the mark, but maybe Microsoft is pursuing this now and they're pursuing it very aggressively because they were like, you know what? If we can get this done before our event, Maybe we could find a way to squeeze in this massive, massive, massive announcement during this event. Because I'll tell you right now, like, you know, Xbox being a platform holder, it would be a little bit different for them to acquire the gaming division, the Warner Brothers gaming division, than say EA or Take-Two or Activision. The reason being is obvious, and I think this is why most of you are interested in this. It would be because if Microsoft wanted to, although they might not, this, you know, if Microsoft were to make this happen, this could be another Minecraft deal where nothing's going to change except now Microsoft has these studios and they're publishing it. Um, you know, where if the next Batman game 
were to be published by Microsoft and it was, you know, Rocksteady is under or whoever's making the Batman game is underneath Microsoft at that point as a first party studio, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be exclusive to the platform. But that's what makes it so interesting, the fact that Microsoft is trying to pursue this apparently because they could do that. If Microsoft were to make this happen, as it says here, they wouldn't own the IP. They would be licensing it. But still, that's still very big. Just because they won't own it doesn't mean that it's not a big deal. Like they would still be licensing all of these IP, these really well-known IP that would sell millions and millions of units, Batman being one of them, Harry Potter. And it does mean that they would, you know, make less money overall, but really all it would come down to is they probably just have to you know, split a portion of that and give it to uh, WB because they own the IP. But I think Microsoft would probably get the majority of it. It really just depends on what type of deal they would work out. That's not really the relevant part, though. The relevant part is that if Microsoft wanted to, if this were a deal that actually were to happen, and if we were to learn, let's just say two or three weeks from now that it actually happened and they went through with it and Microsoft paid like $4 billion or whatever and they announced it on stage or sometime after, at that point, if Microsoft decided now all these games, the upcoming Harry Potter game, maybe not the upcoming games, but future games under, you know, carrying the Harry Potter name, Batman, any other DC properties, Lord of the Rings, anything, the Lego games, now they're going to be exclusive to the Microsoft platform. Now they're going to be going on to Game Pass and all that. I mean, that would be absolutely huge. It would be pretty big, in my opinion, if Microsoft were to acquire these studios in general, like Rocksteady and NetherRealm. Imagining those as first party Microsoft Studios is a pretty big deal. But then when you consider the IP that they would be able to license and make games with, that would just be insane. And I have a feeling, again, like if this were to happen, like if Microsoft was the one who ended up, because it, it really does seem like AT&T is going to go through with this, like they're going to sell this to somebody. And I've seen a lot of people saying that they hope it's not EA, they hope it's not Activision or Take-Two because they're afraid that they're going to ruin these games, which it's definitely possible. But we've seen WB be just as bad uh, as, you know, these three companies I just named. Microsoft, they're, you know, they're kind of 50-50 when it comes to, like, if you're talking about, like, egregious microtransactions and stuff like that. I mean, they've been pretty bad as well. We, we can't really deny that, but I think they've gotten a little bit better. But the point I'm trying to get at here, guys, is that this is a legitimate report. Like this seems like something that is happening behind the scenes right now. And if it were to actually be a thing, then Microsoft would own these studios and they would actually be licensing out all of this IP and they would basically be free to do with it what they want as long as that deal was in place with Warner Brothers. And I guess to end this video, the big question is, well, what about Sony? Would Sony be interested in something like this? Could they even afford it? Well, I'm sure Sony could afford it if they wanted to, uh, but this, I mean, you're talking like, this is huge, like $4 billion. For a company like Microsoft, that's not as big of a deal because they're, I mean, they're like a near trillion dollar company. Sony isn't anywhere near that level. That doesn't mean Sony couldn't buy it, but it's, you know, you're talking about risk here. We have to understand that these companies that are pursuing it, it's because for them, the potential long-term profit they could make being able to license these IPs as well as acquiring those studios outweighs whatever they would have to pay up front to acquire it. And so for Sony, I don't know if it's if it's something that they would be interested in. I mean, Sony has a really good thing going with their first parties and the IP that they own. I don't think Sony would be the type of company to just be okay with licensing all of this IP, especially for the price that they would pay for it. Uh, however, if you do imagine studios like Rocksteady and NetherRealm underneath Sony as first party, that would be pretty cool. There's other studios I'm not mentioning either, like Monolith and, and others that I just don't have in front of me right now. But uh, it's possible that Sony could maybe try to now do something with this, maybe because they're hearing Microsoft is. And one thing I will tell you is that if Microsoft were to acquire, if EA didn't acquire it, if Activision didn't, and if uh, Take-Two didn't acquire Warner Brothers Gaming, then the way it would hurt Sony if Microsoft did is, like I said, if they decided that they're going to keep these licensed games and IP and whatever other games that come out of these studios exclusive to Microsoft's platform, that would really, really hurt Sony. That would hurt Sony 
big time. And so that's why Sony, I think, needs to be a little bit nervous about this because could you imagine a world where the next Batman game is exclusive to Microsoft's platform, where the next Lego game is exclusive to Microsoft's platform, and the, the next Lord of the Rings game, the next Harry Potter game, the next Mortal Kombat game, the next Injustice game, all exclusive to Microsoft's platform. Could you imagine how much damage that could potentially do to Sony? Uh, that would do some significant damage. So Sony, I, I would imagine they have to be paying attention to this, but does it mean they're gonna fight for it? Maybe not. Again, it seems likely that Microsoft wouldn't make these platform exclusive, but who knows? Maybe they would. Maybe they would. Maybe this is not a Minecraft situation. So that's going to do it for the video, guys. I apologize. It did run a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but I, I had a lot to say about this and I find it incredibly interesting. And so at this point, I want you to leave your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think about this report? Do you think it's possible that we could end up seeing Microsoft acquiring the WB games division? If they do, do you think Microsoft would choose to make these games exclusive to their platform or do you think that they would still keep them multi-platform to rake in the most amount of profit and money? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Leave the video a like if you did enjoy it or found it informative. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already. Hit the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload and feel free to share this video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.